Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is our second video on React Router. In previous video, we learned a basic example and we also learned that how we can set up the React Routing, right? And uh, this is our second video. We will continue our first video's code in this video, right? So if you did not watch our previous video, link is given in the description box. So uh, here we will learn a React routing example with the best practice. Why I'm calling it a best practice? Because in this video, I will tell you that what is the best file structure when you work with a large project, right? And how you can handle all routing, links, wrapper, and different, different components and all, right? So this is my output screen. In previous video, we learned that how we can just make, uh, and we, how we can just make two routers and uh, call these components like a page, right? But there is some other problems also, like when I will just uh, visit my home, then you can see that there is a no data. Data will only come whenever we will click on these pages. So we will uh, handle this problem also, right? So there is a lots of things that you can just learn in this video. So if we just want to look on a step for this video, first of all, we will uh, create a React router wrapper inside uh, index.js. Yes. Then we will make a navbar file and we will put all our file link here. Then we will make a separate components for uh, different different files. Then uh, our example will be completed and uh, I will provide you the answer of my previous videos question. And again, I will ask you one more question. And this question will be really important in interviews. Uh, this question can be asked, right? And this is my Instagram account. So here you can see that in last video, we worked only single file, right? But now we will make some more files and work in a different, different files. So we have a uh, two components home and about here you can see that and we just uh, put them inside our router wrapper right so because route wrapper will be grab all of our files so that we can put it inside a index.js right because here we don't have much code so just simply write here import or even you can if you just want then you can just copy this code from here right if you don't want don't want to write so just right here, import something from React Router DOM and just get here uh, browser router as router. Uh, the video of this code you can get from the description box. I will provide you a link for you uh, of Git, my GitHub account. Here you can just get all this code, right? You don't need to just pause this video and write the code. And after that, just make a wrapper around this uh, app component. So just write here, router. And now we have a router there, so we don't need router here, router wrapper here. So let's remove it from there. And let's check this thing on a browser. Is there working fine or not? Just make it refresh for a moment. And here you can see that this is working still fine. Great. So now what we can do, uh, as you can see, we have two more components here. So can we put these components in a separate file? Yes, we can. So just create here home.js and create one more file like about.js, right? And uh, just grab this home. Uh, home component code inside home.js and just export it export default home great and uh, now let's uh, get this uh, about component inside about file and export default about so all great now um, let's import these two components inside our app.js so just right here import home from home file import about from uh, about right so these components are already uh, written inside our route. 
so they should again work fine let's check out right they are still working fine so now the third thing is what we can do we can just put these links inside the different file because for a moment we have only two links but maybe when we will work with the project we have a hundred soft router so let's make a separate file for them and put a name like uh, nav.js right and uh, grab these two routers from here to here but uh, for that what we need a function just right here nav return that's my bad I need to just use like these brackets and uh, just use a div and put our all these two there is a two not all links here right and uh, we must have to import link also from react router dom right so just right here import something from react router dom just get link and export it export default uh, nav and now what we can do here just uh, import the nav again, again inside it import nav from nav and uh, let's place these nav here let's see still they are working fine let's refresh and still check everything is working fine so the last thing what we want to do we want to call our home component from here right so what we can do we can just remove our uh, path from here as well as we can just uh, remove the link from here from the home now it can be open with the home right here you can see that this is working fine but whenever we will open the about you can see that we got the both of pages because on a home page we don't have any route that's why it will come by default on every route so we need to handle it so how we can handle it just go to the app.js Put this path from here to here and at a last and just right here expect exact true right now it will just uh, give you only exact path so here you can see that home and about is working great you can create now more pages and uh, put in this way and uh, link is given in the description box for this whole code in the next video we learn that how we can uh, use uh, 404 page let's say we have some other route like uh, blah blah then we must need a by default page for that right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box yeah i have one more thing in last video i asked that what if we directly put here some code instead of about then it will work yes it will definitely work you can just check like this like say home oh, sorry about page right and now you can see that it will still work when you just go on about it will still working so if you just want to write uh, a very small code for a simple page then you can directly put your code here and it will work like a separate page and for that video I have one more question here you can see that we are using the links and these links are creating a href tag here you can see that like this so what if I directly create a link like this uh, a tag href and I will just put here uh, about sorry and I just write here about so what do you think it will it work or not right so let me know in the comment box and I will provide you the answer of this question in the next video. So bye bye for a moment.